Now, as we're talking about this, here's the reality. Smoking kills, and it's not just the smoker. The numbers are truly staggering. Secondhand smoke kills 40 to 50,000 non-smokers in the U.S. every year. But of course, it does beg the question, does this law go too far? Should you be legislating what people can do in their own homes? And Anita is a San Rafael resident who strongly supports this, this smoking ban. It's in multifamily homes, apartments, and condos. So what, what is your theory in terms of, of this legislation? Well, I supported the legislation. So how are we going to say that your right to smoke, your condo is your castle? And then you look over at this poor kid with asthma yep. who's having to breathe in the next um, apartment or condo. Do they have to move out because you have a right to smoke? Mm -hmm. No. Maybe they have a right to clean air. And I, work, um, I also work at a nonprofit with American Society on Aging. Think about the older people, the older people that can't afford to move every time they, a smoker moves in across the hallway or next to them. I well, think you, you make a very good point. I think it's just, it's really, it's a difficult question between your own, you know, rights, yeah. private rights, and, and, and health. Yeah. So and that's yeah. let's hear from Thomas, because Thomas has a completely different viewpoint on the ban. He actually calls it tyranny. So give us your, your perspective on this, Thomas, because you're also a San Rafael resident. I am, and I do smoke a few cigarettes every day, or most every day. Uh, but I, I think that the, this is government overreach, uh, and maybe I'm an old-fashioned American, but I do think that uh, a person's home should be their castle, and government should stay out of it. And uh, if you want to smoke in your house or on your patio, I think you should be free to do it. Now, the law is based upon uh, science uh, of the dangers of secondhand smoke. I don't know how many of you have ever actually looked into the so-called science of the dangers of secondhand smoke, and there is almost no effect of secondhand smoke. And the only little effect of secondhand smoke is if you live with a smoker and breathe the smoky air 24 hours a day, seven days a week for decades, then so, there might be a slight little Let me stop you for a moment because you actually, I feel, had some convincing points to your argument when you talked about your home is your castle and what you do in your home. But Thomas, you are fooling yourself if you're going to call the science about secondhand smoke not science. It's not science. No, no there are 45 studies that have reviewed 33 different smoking bans. In these communities, this type of legislation has shown, and it's not just smokers, dramatically reduced risks of cancer, heart disease, and strokes. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're wrong. Uh, you are wrong, wrong and you're fooling yourself. If you're smoking on your back porch and there's a child next door, your secondhand smoke increases their risk for asthma and lung diseases. That is not arguable, my it friend. Is arguable. And, and here's the deal. You can be delusional about it. I'm, I'm fine with delusional. that. You can you're believe in, that, you're but you're not helping your argument by saying that. about living inside the walls of smokers. It's not being no, next not. door or in the patio next door. Put you these gloves on. Because okay. you're, you're right now, I'm a little upset. Okay. The reason I'm upset. <laughs> Are we going to duke it out? No, we're not going to duke it out. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset not because of the, the argument that you have as far as your home is your castle. I, I, here's the reality. I yeah. get you. I understand that. But I, I want you to do okay. me a favor and, okay. and feel this lung. This is a healthy lung, okay? Okay. How does that feel? It feels uh, nice and healthy. Malleable, right? Yeah. 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 Like, like yeah. This, this person actually didn't have trouble breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is someone exposed to smoke through their life. Feel what you, that. What do you mean by exposed? A smoker? Here's the reality. Uh -huh. it, and this is, this is where the science is even though you're debating it, yeah. it, it it's clear. It Whether clear. you're smoking it from the cigarette or you're getting that smoke from someone else smoking the cigarette, it's doing damage to your lungs. Yeah. I, I, These are I carbonaceous agree. deposits. Okay. Now, so, so let me ask you this. When you mm -hmm. exhale smoke, mm -hmm. do you, and, and, and let's say you exhale it and then I breathe that. Right. That's good for me? Maybe. Thomas, yeah. well, the tobacco um, companies must um, love you, nebulizer. Thomas. I mean, <laughs> wow. And, uh, that is, and, that is and, an you know, interesting we, we, do have to, we do have to move on, but anyone who wonders whether or not smoking or secondhand smoke damages lungs, I'm done talking.
Well, thank but you thank both you. so very yes. much for joining us. You know, this is going to be something I think that continues to be a hot controversial. Issue. The question ultimately becomes how much do you legislate to improve mm -hmm. the health of a community?